today, guys, we're going to put pistons into this LS motor block. It's a 5.3. So first, you're going to have to take some oil and put it around the piston. On the skirts. So, on the skirts. And, well, Roy puts the compression ring. Or compression tool. The compression tool onto the piston. I'm going to put oil into the cylinder. So it goes nice and up. Get it all looped up. Make sure the dot, because on LS motors, the dot has to be facing the, towards the front of the engine. So you put the dot forward. Right. And then hit the, this coils. And then you walk the piston down. And you give it one big few hard hits. So now the piston is in the cylinder. And then you, the bearing the that was so you take the bearing, put it on the back of the piston. Make sure you use assembly. Assembly oil or whatever. Assembly lube. Some of this. Get set on. All right, hit it down. It's on. Hit it down. Okay. So, then when the bearing's on, you just hit the piston down. Have a cap. Piston cap. Snug them down. And then once these uh, go down, we're gonna torque them. No, we gotta flip the motor and do the other four. Hmm? We have to flip all the motor over and do the other four. Yeah. So once we put all the pistons in, we're gonna uh, we're gonna torque them after we have all of them in. So lower it down a little bit so we can reach up. So all right, guys. I saw you put pistons into an LS 5.3. You don't want all right, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're just continuing this. So we are torquing the bolts on the bottom of the engine to the uh, pistons, and they go to 15 foot pounds, which is 180 inch pounds. So, across how'd you find that? It was on Roy's paper. It was on all data. <laughs> no, how'd you find 180, 180 inch pounds? Uh, 15 times 12, because there's 12 inches in the foot. So, what do you do the second pass? Second pass is 85 degrees, 180 degree thing. But our process is go around to all the ones that we can get first, and then Roy will turn the motor in the second. Now we're recording the game, so okay. Roy just turned the motor. Um, turn it back a little bit. More. Alright. Alright, turn it over. I right, stop. Why don't you use the camp polish? Because I remember. I have a good memory. 
Alright, well, some people use nail polish. I'm probably gonna yell that because I'm not using nail polish, but it's just to mark what you've torqued and what you haven't. So, like, some of these bolts do have nail polish on them, and that is from when we were building it before to put in. So, right now, I'm not. After you torque a bolt, you usually put. You, after you torque a bolt, you usually put nail polish on it just to show that you torqued it and you remember. So, first things first, you know, calibrate it, and we have to set it to 85. So, we we'll just press the up button a few times. It's 85 now. So, and then you would take your breaker bar, put it on, and then Roy would so kindly like to so you want to get it so there's no slack in it yeah no slack see how there's like slack right there you want to get it so there's no slack in it then re press the button again uh, Roy what would happen if there is slack it would just throw off the machine yeah because it, it it messes up like when it goes back so that's 85 and made that noise so just do that to every bolt All right take the slack out yeah, which wide did you want? See, yellow when it's almost close. And then 85 when it's there. You can do these two. Right. But that, guys, is how to put pistons into your LS1. Any LS. Any LS. All of them are pretty much the same. Um, with the exception of the second gens, um, it's more electronic. Are you guys recording right now? Yeah. Hey, what up, bro? <laughs> hey, that's Marvin. Marvin's sick. That, that's, that's my... Never mind. It's his friend. <laughs> Alright. turn it? Yeah, guys. Alright, we're just gonna finish this up. And you guys have a wonderful day. VO Auto out.